podcast. You're listening to the Cat Cast, a weekly podcast from the staff you love to listen to each weekday on 94.3 Cat Country. Killian Hart and Jordan J. Now here they are talking about life, love, and everything mid-Missouri. And we're back at it again. I took a week off because of CMN. We had the Children's Miracle Network, mm. uh, which was great super success. successful, by As the Borat way. Borat like to say. Yes, great, great success. Great success. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was awesome. So, uh, yeah, with everything going on, we had to take a week off from that. Right. But uh, we're back at it again, and this time we're talking travel. Yeah. Places we've been, places we want to go, and where you think we should go. Keep it PG, kids. Oh, people will tell us where to go. I know. <laughs> I'm just saying. Open that door too wide. What about you, Kevin? How about let's, let's start with you. Have you ever been out of the country? I, I've been to Canada. It's You've been to Canada. Oh, no, actually, I stand corrected. I've also been to the to, uh, to the Bahamas Ooh. on a cruise and all. You know, so the Caribbean. Yeah, and so probably three countries. Isn't like Saint John one of those? Isn't that like a foreign country too? Maybe. I think so, I, actually. Yeah, 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 I, I think so. I know the Bahamas so, yeah. is yeah, a yeah, separate yeah. country. And it's either St. John or St. Thomas. One of the, Something like so, that. So I guess I can technically say I've been to, like, including Canada, like three, four yeah. countries. You were the Bahama. You, you've been to pirate country. I guess. Right? Like, did you go to Nassau there. or how you saying? There was just a whole lot of people offering to braid your hair for a dollar. That's all. <laughs> I know they weren't offering to braid your hair. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Even then, I was... Like, if you can braid this, I'll be impressed. <laughs> Even then, I was follically challenged. But, you know, so... I'm catching up to you, Kevin. Don't worry. <laughs> little by little, yeah. That's but uh, Jordan, you're, um, it's funny because Jordan is the youngest among us, but he is the great world traveler. Really. <laughs> I know, I know. You how'd, are. That, how'd that work? It's amazing. No, no, yeah. I've I've been to Mexico twice. Uh, I've been to uh, Ireland, which is beautiful, by the way. Like, yeah. here's the thing. So, <clears throat> had a great time in Mexico. Went the first time, didn't really speak any kind of Spanish, mm-hmm. and then I went back after like having not only like I had Spanish in in high school, I had I took Spanish in college, so I actually could speak it. <laughs> and, and now I speak Spanish. I, I, well, <laughs> a, a little bit loosely, right? And uh, it just made the experience of the country night and day because mm-hmm. you go in like not knowing how to ask for anything to right. understanding some things, and yeah, it, it made the experience much more enjoyable. But let me tell you too, Dublin though, like we went to Dublin, mm-hmm. Ireland. Amazing, and, and your phone doesn't even capture like the camera sure. doesn't capture how beautiful and and green the country really is. Oh, I bet. Mm. Like you take the picture and you're like, it looks dull compared to what your eyes are seeing in front like, of you. This isn't what I saw. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it, it's yeah. truly a place you have to go to. So the husband. That's funny that you mentioned that because the husband and I. That's been on our list forever. Oh, it's. Um, and actually, Saturday we're gonna go talk to a travel agent about like what are our options, like you know. That's awesome. Yeah, you know, is it best to go with a group? Is it best to not? You know, all that good stuff. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, hopefully planning a trip very, very soon. See that with we would uh, Emily surprised me. It was it was for our um, oh it was for our oh what was it honeymoon honeymoon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the thing you do after it? you get married. What's the word? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It uh, yeah. So we went and she surprised me with a. Game of Thrones tour, and so we got to go wow. to locations that they filmed Fun. in Ireland, Get which out. was nuts. So I like you know where the, the Winterfell. We I actually was mm-hmm. in Winterfell. I got to see the place that they film at. Cool. For that, I got to see a whole bunch of film locations. That's cool. It was it was something else. That's... I was like nerding out the entire time. Oh, of course you were. How yeah. could you not? I know. Yeah. So we got to see like we got to see where like you know where they meet the dire wolves like yeah. the first part or whatever. Yeah. And you you cross that bridge and you're like. This is literally it. Like, you're like, it all looks, it, there's no snow on the ground. But they used fake snow for that, by the way. For Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah, yeah but it was like, makes yeah, sense. But well, it was yeah, like, they wouldn't last under the Yeah, they, it's like the hundreds and, and hundreds. Like, it was crazy. Like, they, oh man, they said they blew all sorts of fake snow. They had tarps everywhere. And yeah. There's even a tree and they, they still marked it. Like, they, they just decided to like, ah, it's like little spray paint on the tree mm-hmm. for like, it was like the, like where they started the film location at. It's kind of cool. You know, if, if, a bit of a sidelight here, but you know, whenever you see like in the movies or TV show, like a shower scene, somebody in the shower, yeah. it has to be cold water because they can't do hot water cause because the steam and stuff and fogging up. Fog yeah. It up. Yeah, so they have to use cold water. Interesting and they have to, I guess, pretend like, you know, obviously, like, ooh, it's, this feels so good. It's Whatever, like, it's, I'm not that good. In it's, <laughs> it's miserable. I hate cold showers. Those are the worst, it's man. It's the worst, man. Well, I'll, I'll tell you, I'm extremely jealous of you, Jordan, because that. Ireland Dude. has been on my bucket list. If you like castles, Forever. like the, the mm-hmm. cliffs of Moher are amazing. Yeah. Like it's just, dude. It's yeah. The husband and I we talked about this like on our first date. Like that was one thing that we like really clicked on is if you could go any place, where would you want to go? Yeah, we're like uh, Ireland. Yeah, and we never took a honeymoon. So this because we were broke. 
<laughs> not <laughs> not that things have gotten a ton better, but yeah. you know, I've at least saved some money, you know, over the years. So um, we're gonna try to shoot for it. Did you go to the St. James Brewery? That's like where Guinness is. Oh, Delicious. Nice. Yeah. Well, you know, and, and again, for me, and all the stuff you mentioned sounds great. The castles and all. A big part of it is genealogy for me. Oh yeah, see me too. I, I've done so much genealogy, and I know where my great great grandfather and my great great grandfather were, and the, actually the the building is still there the original building mm-hmm. the foundation is anyway and i've had people say in that town they go oh if you're if you're ever here come stay with us you know and it's like your family and oh my gosh this is awesome yeah, i gotta yeah. go you know but england ireland yeah that is my dream trip yeah. and my wife keeps teasing me with this she goes well i'm thinking maybe next year i go don't you promise if we're not going to do it, woman? <laughs> you should go to Dublin Castle. They have that. Yeah. It's a beautiful. Yeah, that's actually where the yeah. Star of Saint Patrick is located at. Yeah. Like you can actually go, and it's like an it's a real thing. Like yeah. you know, some people are like, it, it sounds like a myth. He's like the Star of Saint Patrick, but you're like, it's a real thing that you can see. It's so cool. Um, but also, like there, they have like these motion detectors everywhere because, mm-hmm. like, they still have like you know some of like the real crystal glass, oh. like like in silverware they use, and all this kind of stuff. That's like be touching that, <laughs> dude. If you set those off, you get kicked out immediately, and really? you can never come back. Yeah, yeah. I've been banished from my <laughs> own country. <laughs> so, yeah, so Kevin would be the first to be like, oh, yeah. Well, they can't tell me what to do. I'm yeah, yeah it's good to say, I'm you, an American. If you <laughs> touch it, you will never return. Ah. Oh. Take him to the ship now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, and no. They, they do these things too called lock-ins. I don't know if you've ever heard this. Where it's lock-in, like, so no. literally at nighttime, like when the pubs are supposed to close, yeah. they'll just lock the doors, and then you could stay like overnight there. Like just they'll you, they'll drink all night long, yeah. and that's another thing too. Like yeah, I'm too old for that. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's straight up like you walk onto the set of a movie. Like wh- picture what an Irish pub would be like in your mind, mm-hmm. and it's that minus the fighting. Like I know I know you're always like oh. Drunk Irish fighting bras. Nah. But it's like, no, that's not nah. what happens, man. Like, but th- they're very jolly. Very, they sing. They have all their, their all their like kind of folk songs that they love. It's amazing. I'll I'll tell you. I I think I might have told Aaron this the other day. But did I ever tell you the most Irish thing ever? Guy guy walks into a bar in Ireland, and it's like nine thirty in the morning, and the bartender says, "I'm sorry, we don't open till 10. And the guy says, "All right, well, I'm just gonna have a seat here." And he goes, "Oh, that's fine." The bartender comes up to him and goes. Would you like a drink while you're waiting? <laughs> <laughs> the most wow. Irish thing ever, you know. Aaron, what about you? Where you been? Uh, Mexico. Yeah, I've been to Mexico. That was when I was um, 18, and my brother lived <gasps> in Tempe, Arizona, and this we drove down. There. A great story. Oh, we told the story on the podcast. I before. know, but it's uh, but go, I don't even know which story, which, which podcast it was, but. To, to reference, go back and to, listen to all of them and find yeah. the story. Yeah. yeah, all eighteen of them now. Long story know? longer. It was before any of us goobers had cell phones yeah. or any type of communication oh, devices wait. like that. Is this the Ivan story? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I like. I love oh, this story. So, the story's so good. Can you good. do a Reader's Digest version okay. of it? Okay. okay. So uh, we were supposed to stay down in Mexico with my brother's buddy, who had a condo down there. It was going to be great until I saw a sign after we'd been looking for this place for quite a while that said that it was coming it was being built in um was it 99 well it was like 1998 at that point or no 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 no, sorry it was 96 at that point (laughs) so i'm like okay uh hey we got a problem it's being built next year right it it doesn't exist i go you got the name wrong i go we need to try to figure it out we couldn't figure it out by then the border had already closed (laughs) um i don't even know if it does that American woman no, on the other side know. of Mexico and the border is closed. So what could possibly go wrong? At three o'clock in the morning, we find ourselves in a bar where we're talking to a very drunk Russian man named Ivan. And Ivan was like, my friends, I've been in your predicament before. Doesn't it sound like the beginning you of a come, movie? You come home with me. <laughs> and us girls are like, no. And my brother's like, okay. <laughs> So there went the five of us, and this all could have ended very badly. I mean, like, the more I think about it, like, I didn't tell my parents about this. Yeah, of course not. For years and years and years, because this could... My brother's so trusting, and I'm not. Um, so we we slept we follow on, Ivan. on a mattress. There was, like, no <laughs> sheath. Or, it's just a mattress, no pillows, no nothing. Um, Everything my, okay in there, ladies? <laughs> yeah, my sister-in-law, my best friend, you know, they're trying to sleep. Meanwhile, I'm like, uh-uh, I'm not sleeping. I'm, I got the I'll one, keep first watch. <laughs> I got the one chair in the room jammed up underneath the door. Uh, <laughs> we've got, like, you know, what 
not not that we're like ripped or anything, but we had a couple of little rings and stuff. Oh, let's mm. stick them in our bras because we didn't want anything to happen. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so um, the next morning, I poked my head out. And I look downstairs, there's my brother and his buddy. They're on couches with like pillows and blankets. <laughs> and it's like, we had a beach towel that we had. And you were stuck. freezing all night. It was freezing, yeah. <laughs> freezing. There's no curtains on the windows, nothing. I mean, oh, it was great. just cold. And um, yeah, Ivan turned out to be a good dude. He went down to like the local market and hooked us up with some muffins and oh, stuff that's and so coffee. Awesome. And, that was so cool. And you know, he was all like, oh, you've... You know, my friends, if you ever come back, and I'm just thinking I'm never going back. <laughs> yeah. Here's my address but, in Moscow. But here's the thing, yeah, yeah. What an awesome dude to run into, though. Of, of everything he that could have happened, again, right? Like, he best case scenario. He ended up being your vacation savior. Again, you know? he did. He, he was. But again, could have turned out. Yes, yes. Awesome. yes. This sure. was like the best case scenario of what yeah. could have happened, you know? For sure. 100% though, does that not sound like a movie? Where oh, it's like, my gosh. It sounds like the beginning of like a Stephen does. King flick or something. Exactly. Yeah. Trapped. Behind the border, yeah. <laughs> like, you know what I mean. Like, the Aaron Hart story. Okay. Yeah. I got dibs on this uh, screen. Right, <laughs> screen. Yeah. Uh, we did a, write a screenplay. Yeah, yeah. 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 It, it could have ended badly, but yeah, it was that was all all ends well. But yeah, like starring my, Sally Field as Aaron Hart. <laughs> oh, we do have the same bang. <laughs> That would work. He's a smidge smaller than me. You know, just a smidge. Javier Bardem is your brother. How about that, that? That, that? That's pretty accurate. That could work. Yeah. But uh, no, actually got my passport and my brother's girlfriend and I were taking a cruise um, in July. So pretty excited about First that. First cruise I've ever done. Really First cool. cruise I've ever oh, done. Oh, you're going to love so, it, man. See, I've never been on a cruise. Uh, I've always fabulous. wanted to, but it's I'm fabulous. trying to remember we're all, we're going Belize, Ecuador, and uh, Costa Rica. No, 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 no. No, Mexico. We're going to another... Maybe Ivan will find you again. I hope not. <laughs> oh, Aaron, my friend. <laughs> Ivan, Ivan's going to be on the cruise. I, I, I was a lot different. I have been waiting 25 <laughs> years for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A little bit longer than that. I have a room for you <laughs> and a blanket this time. You, you, oh, you, if you got a blanket, you, I'm in. Then. You get up on the cruise and all of a sudden it's like Ivan's muffins. <laughs> 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 it's like one of the places you can shop at. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> oh you got to tell us if yeah. Ivan is there. I'll make it <laughs> Ivan's gluten-free muffins. Yeah. I'm, I'm in. Oh, I did not know about the gluten free me. I would have, yeah. I would have accommodated you, yeah. dear Miss Aaron. <laughs> did you when you were in Mexico, Mexico? Though, did you like? Did you go? Um, did you see anything else, or is it just the? Uh, you know, the beach was a big thing for me because I'd never seen the ocean. Yeah, I'd been in Missouri my whole life. Yeah, um, I'd flown to different states for basketball tournaments and stuff, but I'd never been out of the country so that was a big thing to actually see the oceans mm-hmm. like you know you'd see like uh the fishing boats going out oh like yeah dolphins were like mm-hmm. yeah jumping around like, oh, yeah. you know um and of course i didn't realize you could buy so much stuff on the beach yeah you know, like silver rings and oh, blankets of course, yeah and, you know stemware i mean if if they're making it they're selling it there on the beach um but uh i do remember having one too many margaritas and my brother and I reenacting the scene from Titanic in the ocean. So we were... <laughs> were you the king, of the, it, it king was, of the world? No, no. It was like eight, nine o'clock you know, at yeah. night. And it's dark out. Yeah. Real bright, right? And, you know, we're sitting there treading water. And oh. we're like 25 feet from each other. And I'm like, check! <laughs> check! I'll never let go. And he's all like, rules! <laughs> you know, just being dumb. You know, um, we went on a cruise. It was like 19... 19- it was 1990 or 91, I forget. And the radio station in Pennsylvania that I was working for at the time, they sent myself and my wife. Um, and it was a contest. Like, it was a listener contest and win a cruise, you know, with Kevin Hilly, blah, blah, blah. So How come you're not doing a uh, contest like that now? <laughs> so, so it didn't cost us anything to go. Yeah. And one couple of listeners, you know, won, which was, then they turned out to be pretty cool people. But here's the thing. On the cruise, we had a number of ports of call, of course. Puerto Rico was one of them. That was cool. And then the Bahamas and whatnot. Yeah. Well, the thing is, in Puerto Rico, you know the whole thing about don't drink the water if you're no. not a native? Oh, I, oh it's so true. I got a story. And I didn't realize. We're sitting there, and I had you know some kind of alcoholic drink, whatever it was. And then we get back on the ship, and suddenly old Montezuma ah. decides to hitch a ride with me and my wife. So we were, you know, this... You know, thirty-ish couple at that time, and yeah. all the rest. There's all these other like honeymoon couples and everything yeah. on the ship, and all of a sudden, I'm heaving over the side, and these couples are looking at me in horror, like, "Oh, he's vomiting!" And, I'm, and then you think it's I'm done. I'm like, okay, I think I'm over. Oh, <laughs> he's over the side. Meanwhile, my wife 
is down in the in the captain's <clears throat> quarters. Yeah, because that was the only <clears throat> toilet on the ship. Yeah, and she's losing it from the other end. Yeah, it was it was fun, man. See, that was that was my experience. Don't so, drink so, the water. So when <laughs> I, it was funny, it was, I was tempted yeah. too. So so we went to go to see Chichen Itza first off, which is I don't know if you it's like an Aztec temple, oh, yeah, Mayan the, the temple, pyramids. Yeah, yeah it's really yeah. cool. Long story short. Uh, I, I, I got to see some of it. My mom decided to pack for me. I went with my wife, and she's like, hey, I, I packed your contacts and all this kind of stuff. I, got, I, I, I did all that so you could take care of all this other stuff. And I was like, oh, thanks, Mom. You know, Realized that she didn't pack me contact solution. Oh. She packed me fingernail polish remover. Ooh. And guess what? Soaking that you in your that? contacts all night long. <gasps> Um, I, so here's the thing they were kind of shriveled a little bit and I was like what's happening here so like I'm, I'm you know like re-wetting them and stuff I put them back in my eyes <sighs> my you, eye, I, I, the blind? fire dude no oh. but my, my eye looked like a demon my eyes were so red <laughs> and then, so so yeah so then I couldn't see for half the trip oh my god this is beautiful it starts to rain it, they, they say there's like this waterfall coming down the pyramid and they're like <laughs> look at this once in a lifetime event oh, happening yeah. right now and I'm like what <laughs> What's it look like? Describe it to me. Yeah. <laughs> but we did this like excursion or whatever. You say, you know, not drinking the water. Yeah. And uh, we did this cool like, it, it was it was a mix of, uh, you know, it's like zip lining with also like water slides. It was like the coolest experience. And anyway, you climb this ginormous tower. And at the very top, after this excruciating, hot, hot Mexico plateau day, right? There's not a tree or shade in sight. You get up to the top of this tower. And what's tempting you up there? This water, or this water fountain. No. And guess what? Not even thinking You're at not. the time, gulping it down. I just, oh, g- no. g- 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 you know? And then, all, and then all of a sudden, my wife turns me, she goes, did you just drink out of that water fountain? Oh, my gosh. I was like, yes. <gasps> Bad experience. Uh, yep. Yeah, so I relate to your wife. I am the red-eyed demon. <laughs> yeah, I drank the water <laughs> from the top of the pyramid. I, I was blind half the trip, <laughs> and, and, and unknown horrors All were happening to my body. looking at you like... <laughs> so would you guys ever want to do like an African safari? I think that'd That's be cool. That's always kind of been like up on my list to you know see yeah, all the lions. It would be and, interesting and elephants and everything. That Did would be you cool. hear about the the one recent uh, tour? You know, like they're driving around in their little car and everything, and here came a lioness, and she actually got into the vehicle with everybody. She's really it's one of those open air ones. Yeah. yeah, just right in there. She didn't hurt them or anything. She's <laughs> riding with them. Uh, well, I mean. Oh, goodness sakes. Yeah. We're, we're looking at Aaron showing us a video. Oh, my gosh. That is cool, man. Well, I don't know if it's cool. Well, so I mean, far, she's not doing anything well, wrong. She's, yeah. just, she's just rubbing her head on. Yeah. But my goodness sakes. like a giant sakes. house cat. But, well, yeah, but, but, but how intimidating. He's like, oh, a lion is wanting to lick my face. Everybody, okay. that's, but that's just it. Don't look directly. Don't look in her eyes. Yeah, I was going to say, they're, they're not all big house cats. No. So. no I was going to tell you, speaking of uh, you know, speaking Spanish, mm. that uh, in Puerto Rico, one thing, I'd say I took four years in high school, and I aced it all the way through, yeah, yeah. and a couple of years in college. I did really well. But I never, in my circle, I never really had much of a chance to speak Spanish mm-hmm. or use it. Puerto Rico, I did. And we were standing there, and we needed some directions, and I stopped the guy and said, you know, and I'm asking him in Spanish, you know, hey, how do I get to whatever? And he goes, uh, va la izquierda y... And, he's doing, and, and I got the whole and I, conversation with him, yeah, and we're yeah. walking away. My wife goes, wow, that was really impressive. I go, hey, I know. Now I speak Spanish. <laughs> but it was, uh, I really did. That was It was kind of like... It was, kind was of, fr- it was free. I'm kind yeah. of wondering what you said to that poor gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it, seriously, it, it, it's it's a different experience when you can actually speak a native like language oh, than yeah. when you're going somewhere, especially if you're going out of the country. If mm-hmm. you can speak a, their language, it gets you, uh, oh, you have sure. leaps and bounds of an experience well, better than, than what you would have. We always expect everybody to speak English, too. You, no matter where we go. Yeah. We go to Denmark. Oh, well, you should be speaking English. Why? We're, yeah. You know what I mean? You're in their country. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So... Although I guess English is like the most. Uh, it is. It's French it, number one. Like the, than yeah, is that what it is? It was English, French, yeah. French, English, one, one, one or the other. Yeah, English is hard to learn too. I, I don't know if I don't know a language, I just smile a lot and I point at yeah. what I want. <laughs> yes. Or need. Yeah. Ooh, we're playing charades. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. yeah. Sounds like and two say, words. And I say sorry a lot. Like yes. what they, Lo siento. Yeah. Well, <laughs> got to swim in a cave in Mexico, dude. That was cool. <gasps> That'd be fun. Really? Although creepy when you can't Did touch you the bottom. The you're like, it's pitch That's black one of the things I'm, I'm doing in Belize is I'm rafting through a. You're gonna like that. Yeah, that's it's a like fun tubing, experience. Actually, it's tubing through a, yes. an underground cave. That's so I'm cool. Pretty excited. If you do fall out of the tube, though, I'm not saying you will, but if you do, I would I would take some water shoes. Have you me. met me? Yeah, I was gonna say. 
take water shoes with you just in case you do, because I'd hate for like one. I can't remember. Is a stalactite, stalagmite? One's the up, one's the down. Yeah. I can't yeah. remember. Yeah, they'll be in the water too sometimes, yeah. especially like in caves. So like, just I don't want you to you'll shred your feet. I don't want you to slice your foot open. Fun so. And I'll take my one international call to be like, Jordan. <laughs> I know. Yeah. You know what happened? <laughs> you know, this, co- fun- this costs thirty dollars a minute. Here. Exactly. A fun little experiment while you're there. Try drinking the water. See what happens. Because we oh, no, both I'm going to bring some back for you to drink. <laughs> I know. We, I've already Yeah, it's going to be there. a fun game. Everyone <laughs> can play everybody. along. Why are, you, why are you wishing that upon Aaron? No, no, I'm not wishing anything. I'm saying maybe she's impervious to it. You never know. You might be like the one that it doesn't affect. No, although with Do your, I look dumb with you? your health issues, probably not. That's probably the weirdest. That would probably Aaron, be going to kill be you. Be sure to have water bottles. Oh, you're, I'm, I'm going to bring some back for Kevin. And I'm going to be like, all right, it's going to be a fun game for everybody involved. He's going to be like, chug. I'm parched. Like vacation like, roulette. Here, you know? like, Here's Kevin's special water. I'm going to be like, Kevin, you, chug, and you, we'll see how long it takes him to run to the bathroom. When you're in Belize, you know a fun thing about Belize, believe it or not? It's where a lot of American expats go. A lot of American expatriates live in Belize because it's a very... Easy cost of living for one thing. Hmm. Um, Sign me up. I don't think they do extradition to the U.S. So you probably oh, have a geez. lot of criminals living there, right? You know, like people who, you know, like because you always see that in the movies too. Or we're going to Belize, you know. And uh, where did hmm. they go at the end of Shawshank Redemption? Was that <clears throat> Mexico? Mm. Didn't uh, I can't remember. didn't Morgan Freeman find him in Mexico? I think it was in Mexico. It's somewhere like that. Yeah, yeah so. Andy Dufresne. Andy, Andy, du- Andy Dufresne. I never saw Andy yeah. Dufresne again. Well, I did because I went to Mexico <laughs> yeah, and right. I followed his clues. You went to wherever he went. <laughs> That's so a good movie. By the way, I never saw Andy Dufresne again because I did. That's right. <laughs> well, there you go. Well, there's our vacation uh, trip stories. Where would you like to go? Do you have a uh, a destination in mind? If, but uh, by the way, beyond England and Ireland, I think a. Uh, Ooh, where would you go? Yeah, yeah. I, th- I think like. One of the European countries, mm-hmm. like maybe Italy. Italy would be fabulous. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it would. Uh, eating, especially if you like eating, which yeah. you do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? No, uh, the husband always wants to go back to Japan. Uh, they lived there for nice. a couple of years when he was little. His dad was, was in the Navy. So yeah. um, they were there, oh, I think I think he was from the ages of <clears throat> two to four. So he was a Navy brat. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. They moved Tokyo, around a lot. Like to, the, Tokyo would be awesome to see. I, it's bigger than New York. Like, you've been in New York and mm-hmm. you've seen... A, oh, yeah. Imagine imagine a city bigger than New York, I know, Japan. That is, that's crazy I know. to think about. Yeah. Those countries are incredible. <clears throat> That'd be cool though. I, his mom, you know, when, when she was still with us, um, she told me that he was fluent. He was fluent in Japanese. Really? But when they came back to the States, he didn't have anybody... To talk, to talk with to. it, yeah. Iron sharpens and, iron, so and yeah. Lost it, yeah. How about that? Wow. So mm. I'm like, what? You know Japanese? Yeah. He's like, no, I I did know Japanese. I don't know it yeah. anymore. I think Germany would be a really cool place to go to as oh, well. Yeah. I, I I with you though. I'd like to go to Japan. That'd be mm-hmm. sweet. That'd be, that'd the be culture awesome. oh, and some yeah. of the temples you could go yeah. see there. That'd be mm-hmm. sweet. He just yeah. wants to go to see if anything jogs his memory and, and like, he you never gets know. It back. It might suddenly yeah. boom, come all right yeah. back. You know? Yeah. Who knows? Now that he's in the environment. Well, share your vacation or your trip stories, wishes with us if you want. It's Cat Country, K A T Country, at MailZimmer.com. And we'll see you on the next Cat Cast. Yeah, just remember, you can always take us with you on your vacations with the Cat Cat. Yep, wherever you get your apps from. You've been listening to the Cat Cast, your weekly dose of fun from the staff you know and love on 943 Cat Country. Click subscribe and never miss an episode. Share it on social media and tell your friends with 943 Cat Country.